Hey YouTube, what's up my family? Good to see you guys again. Uh, so, just got off of watching um, Kwame Brown. I, I, like the rest of y'all, I've been addicted to these videos, man. I can't help it. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about me. Um, you know, not only the entertainment side, but the valuable side in terms of, you know, helping these kids get into coding and things like that. Hopefully you guys were able to check out some of the links and um, some of the apps um, from the last video that, that we did. Um, but it's a step-by-step -step process. None of this is going to be done overnight. None of this is going to be done in a day. This is one of those situations where there's a lot to do and there's a lot of information there's a lot to get out um so the best thing to do is try and share but i'm gonna be honest with you i was listening to this dude and you know to to, to get off the coding topic for a little bit and i don't know why this happens but like like he i was just watching this video and i see that they brought chauncey billups and jason kidd's past from like 20 something years ago up and this is the stuff that gets it pisses me off man so like it, it, don't get me wrong, I am totally, if there's a situation where uh, uh, any person, woman, male or female, has been violated, I am totally in support of them bringing the information forward, um, making sure that whoever is the culprit is brought to justice. Um, but my thing is, is that in the, in the case of Chauncey Billups, the dude was like 18 or 19, which doesn't excuse him for anything. But it was before he was married, before he had kids. Like, I'm pretty sure his daughters had no clue of any of this that happened. And now all of a sudden, because he's applying for a job, it comes up and it's t like 25 years later. I'm like, that's... And this is my thing. I don't care if it's white, black, or whatever. That's just wrong. Like, the dude got a family. The dude got daughters. The dude got a wife. All of this happened before all of them. Basically, it was like a previous life. And then he didn't even get convicted or anything. So, it's like, why would you even bring that up? Like, I, 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 this is the part... This is the part of the media that it really pisses me off. Because that's not right. That's not fair. Everybody de deserves a chance at redemption. There's no reason for that man to continue to... The question to be asked... From 25 years ago, or, or or the subject brought up from 25 years ago, in which he was not convicted, there was no, like, there was no charges. Like the dude, like I'm not, the federal out of court, so we don't know what that is. But he doesn't have a criminal record. Like that's insane that they would even bring that up when he's applying for a coaching job. Like why would that even be a thing? Like that, it just that blows my mind because that's just wrong in so many ways when the dude has like he literally has a family now he didn't have a family then he was in college or maybe his first year i don't know but he was young he's like 45 now is 40 something now like that makes no sense to me and it's, it's so unfair that they public they, they make it so public that like now he can't escape it like now he has to explain to his daughters what happened which is not right. Like, he should be able to explain that to them at a time of his choosing without the media or whoever jumping out the window and saying, hey, this, that, and other thing. Like, that's not right, yo. Like, I I'm, I know I'm from a different era. I know I'm older or whatever. But I, I, there's, there's, there's ways to do things ethically. And there's ways to do things without hurting somebody's family. And, and it just makes no sense. I watched that. I watched... Kwame's video with, with, you know, when they showed first take, and salute Kendrick Perkins too, man, yo, that was a real, that was some real comments right there, he said exactly what was supposed to happen, what was supposed to be said, why is this even an issue right now, 25, 30 years later, that makes no, Kendrick Perkins, shout out to you, bro, that, that was, that was real deal Holyfield right there, that, that, that's, that, it's just sad, that, that's sad because it's like, and, and I get it, they doing it for the attention, they doing it for the shock value, they doing it to, you know, increase views, likes, whatever you want to call it, but you put in a man's life, like, like just, that just hurts me, like, you, you brought up a time before this man's wife and children were even in his life, and now they're in his life, and he has to explain to them what happened before they were in his life, and not to mention the 
the, the female in this has to relive this again now. Like, I, I just don't get it. Like, whose evil plan is that? Like, it just makes no sense to me. It's just... I, I Integrity. Like, integrity is a real thing that people should have. And, like, I don't know. I just... I, I, I don't like that. I don't like them bringing up the Jason Kidd situation where he done had, like, two coaching jobs since then. It just makes no sense to me. I'm, I'm sorry. It, it just... It breaks my heart that now this guy's family has to, you know, you know how the, the media is. They're going to ask them questions. They can't really be on social media now. Like, it just sucks. Like, that, that just sucks to do that to them. But, you know, hopefully, Chauncey Billups, man, I'll keep you in my prayers, man. Hopefully, your, your, your situation, I hope you do great things out there, man. You and Jason K. I hope y'all both do great things because... Nobody should be bringing up people's past like this. This is just insane. But anyway, back to the message. Because I'm sorry, I went on a little rant. But back to the message. The actual message is about child care. Like how child care should not be... You know, I, I for years... I, and, it, you know, one of the things that sucks is like not having financial... Like not having money like that. You can't do certain things. And even when you can do certain things, you still got to go to the city and get things approved. But one idea that I had was to, you know, have an apartment building with daycare in it, you know, where it's, it's a situation where, you know, if, if we do have, uh, the capacity to have working mothers or fathers, single, single parents homes or whatever, where they don't have a babysitter or can't afford, you know, childcare, we, we will open this up and hopefully a new area, hopefully an area we can make, you know, that's more so, um, just an area for us. Let's just put it like that. Um, and, and and it's a situation where it's tough because the laws in the towns that you're at, they, they kind of make it, unless you're a big business, they kind of make it difficult to like own certain things. I'm still trying, though. It's not something that's off my radar. I'm still I'm always going to try to do, you know, things like that. But that that's one idea I had. I, I just, you know, I, I have a lot of ideas that, you know, I put to paper, but it's it's tough when you don't have the same backing, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I could probably go and get political backing, but I don't want that. I want to do this for, I want our community to do this for us, by us. Shout out to FUBU. But it's one of those things where we can do this. And when I say our community, I'm not only talking about, you know, people of color. I'm talking about people who or in financial struggles, who've had financial struggles their whole life, who don't have that silver spoon in their mouth, whether they're white, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, whatever the case may be, every group, uh, race, whatever you want to call them, has, has that, has a poorer side of that race. And, you know, our, our job as, as a people, as a society, we the people, you know, is to try and help each other. You know, and, and, and the best thing we can do is stay diligent with that. But either way, at the end of the day, we all can and should be helping each other. You know, that the, the, this whole battle uh, that, that we always have these arguments, you know, this side, that side or whatever. The reality is this is really just rich against poor. And the rich is like this tiny percent of people. The only real thing we could do to combat people who have way more money is education. Um, education comes in several forms, um, always going to be needed, and those are the things that are going to help our generation push forward. Um, so, you know, it, it, I, I just I just wanted to make this video because I, I've watched, like I said, I keep, I keep saying this brother keeps inspiring me, and I'm working on things in my head to, you know, volunteer. I'm trying to do everything I can, because another thing that I found, you know, speaking to kids actually helps a lot. Helps a lot with understanding, uh, helps a lot with trying to get in their mind frame and see what they need or what they can use to make their life a little bit easier and make the learning process a little bit easier for them to where they grasp it are able to contain it and comprehend it um but yeah you know like i said i just wanted to uh touch base with you guys i am going to make another video with some more links uh that you guys can use for your children uh hopefully you can also use it for yourself i'm also going to put some uh links for older kids and adults um hopefully we can keep this going hopefully we can keep on continuing to try and do better that's all we all trying to do just do we're trying to do better today than we did yesterday and moving forward we continue to do the same thing i mean we we 
We have to continue to try and help each other. We have to continue to build. Um, and there's going to be some tough conversations along the way. But adults are able to have adult conversations. We, we, we live in a different era now, man. And it's an era where... I don't know how to really describe it. It's an era where being an honest person and using your life experience... Um, or, or reciting your life experience to somebody in this day and age can be traumatic because some people may not understand how you went through such a tough time or how you know you grew up so rough. People don't understand that, and I don't know why, but it happens. That's how it is. You, you, but each step along the way, you just continue to try to do better. You try to get better. You try to do better. You, that, that's how it works, and. When, once you have kids, that's what it ends up being about. Taking them and making sure that they're a better version of what you wanted to ever be. You know what I'm saying? Like, not push your thoughts and feelings on them, but, I mean, push them to what they want to do. What 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 interests them. Like, for instance, my son, uh, he wants to be a paleontologist. He's been saying that since he was like two, three years old. Dude, the kid loves dinosaurs. I try to encourage him into, you know, books of that nature or, and not only about dinosaurs, but also about excavation and things like that and how it works and, you know, what you'll see, what you'll find. It Like, I, I try to push those things to him, but not in a way where it's like, all right, you got to do this. It's like, all right, if you still want to do this, this is what you need to know when doing that. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I want to do with anything that he wants to do, whether it's, you know, basketball, because, like, he, he likes basketball, or if it's, um, he, 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 he likes those video games on a tablet, whatever it is, but, you know, I, I introduce him to the code, and I explain to him, you know, right now, you're playing someone else's game. What if you were able to make a game, name that game what you want to name that game, and do whatever you want in that game? Do whatever board you want, whatever you want to do, his eyes lit up. And I'm like, that's what Coda does. It gives you the opportunity to create your own thing as opposed to playing someone else's thing. And I'm, I'm trying to teach him, like I said, he's only eight. So I'm trying to teach him, you know, to, to be independent, but also to be outgoing in a way. You know what I'm saying? Because independence, a lot of times I notice, makes a kid shy away from asking questions, which I'm uh, I noticed that a little bit with him. He doesn't ask as many questions because he tries to figure out, figure things out himself, which I love. But if a teacher is there to, to, to give you the information, use that. I tell him, use the tools that you have. If you have a toolbox, you're going to use the tools in there for the job that you need done. That teacher is there. When it's not a test, that teacher is there to answer your questions. So when she isn't around, you know what the answer to those questions are. And, you know, it's it's like a... He's eight. It's a learning process. He's... I'm watching him grow up. He's watching me grow up. That's how it works. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, it's... We're all learning together. We're doing this together. But the thing is, is that... I hope... He, he won't forget these things. You know what I'm saying? He, he When he gets older, he'll, he'll be like, you know, I remember my dad did X, Y, Z with me. And... That's huge in our community. That is a huge thing to have those father memories. Let me stop rambling. I, I get to rambling sometimes, and yeah, my mind just goes all over the place. But no, I really appreciate you, YouTube, for uh, actually joining us again. Uh, I know I said don't like, you don't have to like or subscribe, but like and subscribe so this way you can actually know when I post links and stuff like that, and then you'll be able to. You know use the information I give like I said it's free information I, I don't need anything I just hope that the information I'm providing is helping but again thank you guys for joining it's your boy quick kicks uh talk to you guys soon peace